Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with ADSR. In this video, we're gonna be taking a quick walk through the key features of the ADSR Sample Manager plugin. So this plugin is designed to give you guys a one-stop solution to locate, audition, and find the perfect sample or loop for your production, all within your DAW. The best part is it's completely free and it will work with any sound set or sample pack that you may have. So I have it loaded up on a MIDI track inside of Ableton Live. Now, you need to load it onto a MIDI or a software instrument within your DAW because it kind of offers you the best of both worlds. If you're a producer who likes to work with your samples and loops by dragging them onto your actual DAW's timeline, you can do that with the plugin manager. But if you prefer to work with your samples and your loops in more of a MIDI environment, you can do that as well. You can trigger your samples with your keyboard, your push, your machina, or by drawing in MIDI information in your DAW. So the first thing you wanna do is add a library. Now a library can be anything. It can be your own personal curated sample of your favorite five kicks. It can be a new sound set or sample pack that you've purchased. It can be your entire splice library. It doesn't matter. So let's click add library. Now I've created a folder for this video that has four different packs in it. And I wanna showcase the power of the import feature inside the plugin. So within this folder, we have a lot of subfolders that will be irrelevant to the sample manager. We have a PDF file, we have a massive preset folder and a serum preset folder. It doesn't matter. We don't have to go through and handpick each folder or sample that we want to import. We can just hit open and the plugin will do the rest. It will find all the relevant samples and loops and even tag them for you as it imports. So let's hit open. Now you can see that's going to do a quick library scan, kind of telling you all the different tags, how many files you're uploading into the plugin. So let's hit OK, and we'll see that the actual tags are being added real time. We can see that occurring as I speak. So for instance, this acoustic guitar file has successfully been tagged as an acoustic and a guitar sound. All right, so let's add some more content. And to do that, I can go to the left-hand side of the plugin and select Show Libraries Panel and we're gonna add another library. So let's go back to that folder and let's select some vocal chops. So I'm gonna to go to the vocal chops and melodics pack. And let's just choose one subfolder within this pack. Let's not do everything. Let's just do the vocal one shots. So I'm gonna hit open, hit okay. And now those have been added to the plugin manager. So there are a couple different ways to locate and search for your samples within the plugin. Up at the top, you have a text-based search. You can simply click and start typing. So let's look for kick samples. I'm gonna hit enter. And now that tag has been applied to our search. So over to the right in our sample list, we can see all things kick related, right? We have kick loops and one shots. Now, if you just want one or the other, you can simply uncheck the one you don't want. So for this search, let's just look for one shots. So I'm gonna uncheck loop. Now, because I'm unchecking loop, I wanna go down here and uncheck sync to DAW. That's gonna make it so that the sample doesn't play back at my DAW's host tempo, which makes sense for one shots. That's a feature that you'll want to use for loops most likely. All right, so that we've done that. Let's add another tag or another element to the search. But instead of typing it, let's go and pull one of the tags from our tag list. So let's go find some of those vocal, vocal chops that we loaded up. So I'm going to navigate to the V section and select vocals. Now, as I select it with my mouse, you can see that it not only highlights white and there's a purple pink little dot to the, to the right of it, vocals actually added to my text search as well. So here are all the vocals. Now, once I've found some samples and I want to audition them, there's a couple different ways to do that. I can click on each sample with my mouse or I can arrow up and down with my keyboard. Now, let's say you find a sample that you really like you can actually favorite it so it shows up in your favorite samples list by clicking the heart. Now, another really cool feature is this random button up at the top. This will choose a random sample. And if you have a search active like we do with kick, it's only gonna pull up a random kick. So for instance. So let's use the plugin to build out a quick drum groove. So the first thing I wanna work with is a kick sample. Now, like I mentioned before, you can use the sample manager to drag and drop audio into your DAW straight from your search result, or you can trigger MIDI. We're gonna look at both options here. So let's drag this over and let's find a kick sample. That one sounds good to me. I'm gonna drag this onto the timeline of my DAW. Now if I hit play, it's right there. So let's go and find a snare sample now. 
So let's take that one and drag and drop into our DAW. Now you can drag and drop by clicking on the name like I just did, or you can go to the sample preview section and click the little cursor, which is the drag sample to DAW. So now we've quickly located a kick and snare that we'd like to work with. We can efficiently build out the rest of the beat just like we normally would in our DAW. Let's build a kick and snare drum groove, but trigger it via MIDI. So let's load up a kick that we like here. Let's load up kick number nine. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to go change the start time of the sample. And we're going to make sure that sync to DAW is unselected. And let's change the MIDI note mode. So if I hit one note on my keyboard right now, I'm holding it down and it's looping it. That's because the MIDI mode is selected to loop. Let's change that to full. That's a great option for when you're working with drums because it will play the full duration of the sample even if you're not holding out your MIDI information or your key press for the full duration of the sample. All right, so let's play something in real quick. All right, so I messed up on that third hit, but that is the beauty of MIDI. It's quite easy to fix. So let's change that to right there. Now, the samples, when you're triggering it with MIDI, they are velocity sensitive, which is cool. So if I wanted to kind of add a roll anywhere, just turn the velocity of one of the hits down, I can do that like so. All right, so let's layer in another snare with that clap snare that's already there, but let's do it via MIDI. So I'm gonna duplicate this track. We're gonna delete this clip. We're gonna get a new clip in here. Let's go to the sample manager and choose our snare. So we need to get out of our kick search, do a snare search. <laughs> On sounds pretty cool. So in my MIDI clip here, I can just go to C3. That's where the default sample range will begin. And we can, just simply double click into our MIDI editor here and we're off and running. So let's get this to the right section of the track. So let's play this. All right, so let's add a top loop to it, but let's add the loop via MIDI so we can look at the time stretching in the sync to DAW feature. So let's delete some of these MIDI regions in the duplicated track. Let's click this and we're gonna extend this out the full length of the clip. All right, so let's go into the sample manager and load up a actual loop. So let's change that from one shot to loop. So let's unselect one shot, select loop. We want sync to DAW active now. So let's kill our snare search and let's type in drum. So let's look at some of these. All right, so you can see that I can play the, the loop by clicking on the title or by hitting preview and I can stop the preview down below, which is nice for longer loops. So this one sounds cool, so let's try it. I'm just gonna hit play. So now that we've got a drum groove worked up, let's add some melodic content. Again, I'm going to duplicate the sample manager plugin to a new track, and we're gonna go find something melodic based. So I want it to be a loop, so let's search for a synth loop, and let's just find one this one's actually at the same tempo as my track, so let's try that. All right, so we'll keep that as it is. Now, I'm gonna select sync to DAW because let's say if I want to change the tempo in my DAW, I can go up and do that. So let's listen to this. I can slow it down, and because we have our two loops synced and our other elements are coming from MIDI and audio that's on grid, we can move around our host tempo. Right, so let's take that back up to around 145. And I'm actually gonna change the pitch of this chord progression by just moving it up or down. So I've duplicated Another instance of the sample manager, let's find a base. So I'm gonna go and type in in our search sub, let's see what comes up. 
So let's uncheck sync to DAW because I'm going to be playing this in with MIDI. So let's see if this works with our progression. All these sounds we you know discovered from the plugin manager. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, this is a completely free plugin. There's no reason not to download it. It's a great way to stay more organized with your productions, to increase the speed of your workflow, and to ultimately just have access to the sounds and samples that you download and that you purchase. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.